Love you. What's up, YouTube? It's Ramaya, and I'm back with another video. My mic is really messed. Okay, anywho, back with another video. Today, in this video, we're gonna be going school shopping for my last and final year of high school. Round of applause for me. But no, seriously, I'm about to go school shopping. School starts in about. I'm looking at my calendar. Um, less than two weeks. So, 11 days is when my school day starts. So, I'm about to go. I'm gonna go to Target, even though they probably. Their school supplies is probably expensive. I love Target, so we're gonna go there. And then I need to go to the gas station because I'm gonna gas. And I'm gonna go to Michael's because I gotta grab some stuff out of there. So. Yeah, I made it to Target. Um, I'm about to go inside. I'm probably not gonna bring this in. I don't know something about the microphone and the light just like attracts so much attention. Like I, mean, I don't be wanting that, so I'm not gonna bring it in. Once I get everything, I'll just show y'all what I got. Like I'm gonna do a haul when I get home and situated. Uh. I got all my school supplies. I did not mean to spend that much money in there, but that's okay. I basically like got everything that I needed. I didn't get too much school supplies for for real. I really like, I don't know, Target is a day thing. And when I went in there and I seen stuff that I could decorate my locker with, I kind of went crazy, but that's okay. I'm gonna get y'all a haul when, we, when I get to the house and everything that I got. Like I literally got stuff for my locker that I had last year. I just wanted it updated. Like I want to decorate my locker real cute this year. My deck, my locker was decorated real cute last year, but like every like everybody comes to my locker. Like before school, it was people by my locker before school, after school, during lunch periods. Like everybody always came to my locker and wrote on my little whiteboard thing that I have. So I just want to decorate it real cute this year. I'm a, I got this little uh thing. <sighs> Let me show y'all. No, I'm gonna just wait till I get home. I'm I'm excited. <laughs> the fact that when I was walking out of Target, my parents were walking in there, and I said, "Can y'all catch up me back on them?" They talking about no, bye, love you, bye. All this money I just spent on school supplies, and y'all can't send me no money. And I gotta go get gas, and I gotta go to Michaels. Like I'm literally, I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl. I work a regular job. They don't barely give me hours. So I be needing the money. Like, what are you doing? Seriously. Okay. Listen. Let me show you what I got from Target. But first thing I got. Our pens because I needed pens. I love writing in pens. I I don't like writing pencil. I mean, pencil is cool, but I like pens better. I got index cards for like notes. I got two things of paper. Oh, let me tell you how much everything was. I got two things of paper. These are like nine dollars a piece, and then the index cards was a dollar. This is like three dollars. And if y'all know me, I love the color pink, so I got two pink notebooks. Um, they were 99 cents a piece, I believe. Yeah, but I love pink, so I got two. I should have got three for real, but. And then I got a pink folder. Um, if y'all don't use these, y'all definitely should use these instead of folders. This is called an accordion folder. It's literally the best thing ever. Like, I love it so much better than folders because it's like you got all your folders in one. So, you don't got to go back to your locker, switch this folder, switch that folder. Like, you literally have every single class in here. Obviously, it's more classes. There's 13 folders in here and I only have seven classes, eight classes. But, and then it comes with this. To be honest, I don't know what this is. I'm not even going to lie. They got all the months, and then they got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, I don't know. But usually, they come with, like, sticky tabs, and you can, like, I don't know if I can see, but it's, like, a part that rises up right here. 
you could probably stick you could stick these in there I'm not gonna do that I'm probably gonna write my own and write the name of my classes and put it in there and I usually go like first period second period third period so I had one that zipped up last year but this one just has that this was like nine dollars okay and then I got sticky notes because no, these are post-it notes. I got post-it notes because sometimes people might need post-it notes. So I got post-it notes. <laughs> my bad, y'all. Been up for my bad. I had to move. Okay. Like, oh, my food all in it. Okay, that's cool. Is this cool? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, next thing, a couple things that I have. I'm... What? I just say I have a binder obviously it's pink um for our school we really don't have like a, a list actually we might it might be on the CCHS page but I'm not gonna pay attention like once you like go through high school like as a freshman sophomore junior you'll know what you need and what you don't need unless it's like on a syllabus like usually your teacher will give you syllabus, a syllabus before you start. Unless it's something absolutely on there that you need and you like get points for it, then get that. But like, once you're a senior, you'll know what you need and what you don't, what took up space, what didn't, what you used, what you didn't, stuff like that. So I got that. And then I got, um, what are these? Yeah, these are pencils. I only got three. I feel like I really don't need that many. Because people are not about to be taking my school supplies this year. People will take your school supplies, I swear. Can I get a pencil? Can I get a pencil? No, baby, I only got three. These was like two, two three dollars or something. This was like three ninety nine. But yeah, no, you can't get a pencil. But it comes with a, a lid and an eraser, so... Yeah. And then I got highlighters. I wasn't going to get highlighters, but I use them like I bought during my previous years, especially last year. And I use like the color coded kind too. Like, I had to get like every color. Use most of every color. So that's why I got these. Okay, this last little bit of stuff is stuff that I didn't need. I'm not going to lie. I didn't need none of this stuff. But I wanted it. Okay. I got this. This is a magnet for the locker. And I'm not even gonna lie, I'm pretty sure I have one of these right over there in my closet. <laughs> pretty sure. But I got this, um, it was cute. And this was like $3.99. I'm pretty sure I got this in my locker. I definitely have one in my closet. And then I went and bought a whole nother one. They're literally the same color and everything. It's whatever. I could I can use this too. I can put them together. And then this, I had this from last year too. Everybody drew on this. Everybody drew on this. Like, it looks dirty. Everybody came to my locker almost every day. Like, I'm telling you, it was so many names up here. My man, my man, my man up here. Like, everybody always wrote on this whenever they see my locker. But it has a um, marker to top of this. So I'm going to use that too to set up my locker and decorate it. Um, and then I got. I got this which is like a storage thing and it's like a it's kind of like a shelf so you can put stuff under it and then you can put stuff on top of the shelf as well I already have one of these too it was like this pink but no I think it's I think it's white or pink but this one is so much more cuter because it's like it's like woven like I I think that this is so cute and then if y'all can see in this picture that thing right there yeah I got that it looks so cute and like y'all can't tell me this don't look cute seriously it comes with 145 letters like this looks so cute I paid $7.99 for this and then I think this was like this was like $12 I'm not even gonna lie and I really didn't need it but listen here I wanted it okay, okay. so 
I put senior year 2024 on here. I think this is really cute. Then you could change what you, what you wanted to say. All the letters and stuff is like over there bunched up, and I'm probably gonna keep this because. Oh. I didn't think that was gonna fall out, but. Yeah, I think that this is so cute. And it's also magnetic, so you could just hang it on your, uh. Like whatever you want to. But. This is my book bag that I have. I got this last year, so I wasn't gonna get a whole new one. And it was also $70, and I didn't wanna pay for another one. And this one's cute anyway. Um, it's Nike. So, the next part of the video is just going to be like advice for high school. Sorry, I had to fix the camera. But it's going to be like advice for high school. A lot of you guys asked for it when I did a poll on Instagram. So, I'm going to have like maybe three or four tips. They're going to all be all like different stuff. You know, um, the first tip that I would say, and which is probably like obvious, keep your grades good. Keep your grades great, it, especially your freshman year and your junior year. Your freshman year is like your foundation, so like you're literally building a foundation. So your freshman year is like you're starting from the bottom. If you're starting with C's and D's and F's, like, you're not going to go anywhere. But if you're starting off on a good note, A's and B's, maybe some C's, like, yeah. And then for your junior year, your junior grades are going to get sent to your college. So, like, of course, you still want to work hard your senior year. But, like, when you're applying for college, you're applying at the beginning of your, like, kind of end of junior year, beginning of your senior year. So, they're going to get your junior year grades. Make sure that you are going phenomenal your junior year. My junior year, personally, was miserable. It was a disaster. Um, I had a lot of AP classes, and I had um, two college classes. Like, all of my classes were either AP or honors, except for my electives, and then I had study halls. So just make sure that you are staying on top of your grades. My second piece of advice would be is to challenge yourself. So if you see that you're doing good in honors classes or even just regular classes, like maybe take a honors social study the next year, honors this the next year, um, AP classes too, um, you can push yourself to take those. AP classes, nothing really different. You just take like an AP test. Um, if you pass, obviously it goes to college. If you don't, I mean, it's just no harm, but AP classes count as an honors credit as well. And then even some go as far to do college classes, which it could be a good thing, a really, really good thing, or it could be a risk. Um, obviously, you're taking your college classes early so you can like get them out of the way so you won't have to take them in college. And they're free if you do them in high school. If you do college credit plus, it's free. Like they school pays for your textbooks, the class, the code that you need to do the assignments. School pays for everything. The only downside there is to it is that if you fail that class, your parents are gonna have to pay for that. And ultimately, you signing up to do a college course, you are starting a college transcript in high school. So if you fail that class, that's going your child's college transcripts. They're gonna see that. So I did two my junior year, and it's on my junior year's transcripts. Fortunately, I passed both of my classes, which the second semester, I didn't think I was going to pass, but I ended up passing. But those are going to be on your transcripts, especially if you do them before your senior year. So your college is going to see that, oh, they're failing college classes already. So just make sure that it's something that you're determined to do and that you're prepared to do because you do not, you do not want to fail those classes because you're going to be out of money and... Yeah, it's gonna be every college transcript. <laughs> My next piece of advice is I mean, it could be for boys, but it's mainly for girls. Keep your friend group small. Don't try to go and make friends with everybody because high school is a big place. And you're gonna be this girl who doesn't like this girl. She doesn't like that you're her friend because she doesn't like her. She finds that weird that you're friends with her. Like, 
you don't want to be that girl. You don't want to be that girl that gets called down to the dean's office because everyone knows, your coaches know, like, do not be that girl that's in drama and that's getting talked about during the school year because that does not look good on you as a person. If you want to do activity sports, like, that does not look good on you. So don't be that person who tries to have a lot of friends and then is in a lot of drama, like, mm -mm. And then to add on to that, if you're a girl or even a guy, you have a, or you're dating in high school, which is completely fine. Don't, do not, first of all, don't lose track of your grades, you know. Keep that as the center of your high school career, your grades, and making sure that you're staying on track and keeping up with a direct schedule. I'm not saying, like, you shouldn't date, but, like, don't get sidetracked. Um, me, personally, I didn't get sidetracked my junior year. Well, maybe sometimes, but he knew how to keep me on track. Just make sure that you are staying on track and that the person that you're talking to also is staying on track and that you guys are helping each other stay on track. Because I had a hard time when me and him first started talking. But, like, um, just make sure that you stay focused. Um... Don't get in trouble. Do not take your freedom for advantage because my parents give me a lot of freedom. Take your parents' um, freedom for advantage because I promise you, it's not worth it. Well, to me, I don't regret anything I did, but <laughs> it's like, it's not worth getting in trouble and then having your phone taken away, your keys taken away when you could have really just waited. Like, I feel like a lot of people in high school try to grow up too fast and they want to move out so fast i want to move out but like i feel like a lot of people want to grow up so fast and it's just like we're gonna have our whole lives to be adults to be working to be grown so just try to stay a kid for as long as you can try to have your mama pay your bills for as long as you can because mine trying to make me pay my phone bill when i start to turn 18 honey and she's not even making me pay at all she's just making me give her 50 dollars every month i don't want to give you 50 dollars my money every month no, but seriously, um, just make sure that you stay focused and don't get in trouble because of a guy or because of a girl. Get in trouble for a guy or a girl. Like I said, I don't regret what I did, but you shouldn't do it. <laughs> okay, so my last and final tip was, it's like for many like people, like juniors or even like seniors, I feel like, actually it's for the whole class. Like freshman and sophomore juniors here uh, apply for scholarships I'm sorry I gotta sneeze <coughs> you guys can apply for scholarships even as a freshman you guys can apply probably even your eighth grade year but once you get into high school and you plan on going to college or even if not or you don't know start applying for scholarships because you can get scholarships when you're a freshman don't wait till it's too late to decide which college you want to go to or like get your group together decide what you want to do and don't don't wait till the last minute i already feel like i'm waiting till the last minute because i'm about to start junior, my senior year and i don't know what i want to do i don't know what college i'm going to go to i haven't visited any colleges so if you guys can do that your junior year like visit colleges start getting your list together scholarships like i would definitely say do that um definitely shadow schools um shadow jobs even if you can't do it your junior year try to do it just make sure that you stay on top of that stuff and try to do it early so that way you're not rushed your senior year and that everything can just go smooth even if you can't do it like at the end of your junior year try to do it that summer of so that way like i said your senior year can just be full of fun smooth memories with you and all your friends. Nah, quit. That was the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed me going to Target. Um, going to Michaels. I didn't even show y'all what I got out of Michaels. Actually, I got something for my boyfriend. I oh my gosh, y'all, my room is so dirty. But I'm still I want to add rhinestones on the outside of the 80 and the Murphy part because um I didn't do a good job painting that because my paintbrush was so terrible anyway, that was the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for the next one because it will be coming very 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 soon make sure you guys subscribe and that you guys hit the post notification button so that way you guys will be notified whenever i post a new video bye youtube <laughs>